Hello, welcome to All Aligned. I am Jessica, and today I have a fit and flow focusing on strengthening the upper body. So it's gonna be a 15 minute arm workout, followed by a 15 minute stretch and cool down. For this flow, we are gonna need some weights. Grab either anywhere from two to 10 pounds, whatever you are comfortable with. Grab some water, grab your mat, Let's get all aligned and get started. All right, let's just start by warming up the upper body here. Let's do a few big circles, one direction, a couple times. Start to loosen up those arms. Get that body moving, ready for some exercise and stretching. And let's go the other direction. Big full circles. And then let's just move those arms in front and back, alternating which arm comes on top. Now I often get asked, you know, how much weight should I be using? So we're gonna be doing two sets of our exercises, 45 seconds each. So the idea is by the end of that second set, you should be feeling pretty tired, can't really do much more of that exercise. If you just did those two sets, no problem. You could do a whole nother 45 second round, then that means the weight is probably too light and you'll want to up it. Let's take a moment, reach side to side here. Um, but if you do struggle by the end of that second set, then that is the weight you want to be at. Okay, let's get started here. Go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna start by working the biceps and the shoulders. So stand with those feet about hip width apart. Always have a little bend in your knees. You never wanna stand with locked out knees. Tiny bend. Just because we're working the upper body doesn't mean we should forget about the core. Pull the belly into your spine. All right, we're gonna start with a curl and press overhead, come down. Curl and press. We don't need to really rush through it. Slow and steady, especially if you're using a little heavier weight. We're gonna be here for 45 seconds. And then of course, always important is to remember to breathe. Workout. 
10 more seconds.
got 10 more seconds here. Then we have one more group of exercises. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, set your weights down and make your way onto your mat. All right, we are gonna work those triceps again. Tricep push-ups. Bring those hands just underneath the shoulders. You can start on those knees, but let the hips drop down. Hug those elbows in, lower as far as you can, and push back up. Lower and push. These can be tough ones. Do what you can. If you have to take a little break, that's okay. But then get right back into it. You should feel the elbows hugging the side of your body as you lower. Also keep your butt down. We don't want any of this. So lower those hips down to your mat. 10 more seconds. two, and one. Awesome job. That is a tough one. Okay, come on to your back. Grab your weights. Time to work the chest here. Laying on your back. Bring your weight straight up to the ceiling. You're going to lower one weight out to the side. Come back up and then lower the other side. So alternating front um, flies, working the chest here a tiny bend in your elbows. If you have to bend your arms too much, the weight might be too heavy. Remember to breathe here. Ten more seconds. Give me one more on each side. Last one. Awesome job. All right, second set. Tricep push-ups. I know these are tough. I know those arms are getting tired, but we're almost close to the end. All right, hands right in line with those shoulders. You can be on the knees or maybe the toes. Hips down and lower. Chest towards your mat. You want to get better at your chest chaturangas in yoga, this is what's going to help. Go at your pace. Just lower far as you can. Feel those muscles getting tired. Try and do just a few more. That's how you get stronger. Give me one more. Awesome job. All right, come back onto your back. We've got those flies. And then one last exercise. And then we get to stretch it out. All right, arms straight up towards the ceiling. Lower one out to the side. And then the other. Alternate. I know this is an upper body workout, but if you want a little bonus leg workout, you can do this exercise in a bridge with those hips lifted up. Keep those weights right over your chest. We've got 10 more seconds. Give me one more on each side. Last one. Awesome job. All right, we are gonna end with a little plank variation. All right, you're gonna have two options here. We're only gonna do this once, 45 seconds, and then you are done. All right, plank on those hands. You can either tap those shoulders or forearms up to the hands. All right, so your choice, maybe mix it up. This is it, last exercise, let's start. Either tap or lower forearms to hands. Just keep that body in a nice straight line. We get to stretch after this. If you're 
You're getting tired. Maybe just try and hold that plank. Whatever you can do. We got 15 more seconds. Hold, tap it out, or up and down. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Take a moment, sit back into your child's pose, grab a little water, and just take a nice deep breath. Awesome job. If you're feeling like you want a little bit more, you can pause here, restart this workout, do it all from the top for a full 30 minute upper body workout. Otherwise, if those arms are tired, if you are ready to stretch it out, then let's get right into it. Let's come back into our child's pose. Toes together, knees out wide. I want you to extend those fingertips out in front of you. But you're gonna press those fingertips down and lift up your palms. So the arms are off your mat. But let your head and heart just melt down. You should feel a nice stretch through the back, the side of the body, the lats. Take a deep breath in the long exhale out. And now go ahead and let those palms come down. Arms are down on your mats. Bring the palms together. Start to bend those elbows so the thumbs come towards the back of your neck. Walk the elbows towards the front of your mat. Press into those elbows and feel that stretch through the back of the arms, the triceps. Good, release the hands down to your mat push up to your tabletop. Just take a couple cat cows here. Stretch out the chest and then round to the upper back. Just move back and forth a couple times. And then curl those toes under, make your way to downward facing dog. We won't be on those arms too long here, but just pedal out those feet. And then slowly walk those feet up to meet the hands, forward fold, top of your mat. Maybe grab those elbows, just let that upper body hang heavy and sway a little side to side. very slowly start to stand all the way up. Reach to the sky, full body stretch. Good, clasp those hands right at your low back. Shoulder blades together, heart forward, lift the chin. And then exhale, fold forward, send those knuckles up to the sky. Again, just like gravity do the work, just hang heavy. release those hands down. Again, slowly stand all the way up, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands together at your heart. Go ahead, turn, step those feet out nice and wide. Toes out, heels are in. Press the hands into the inner thighs, bend the knees, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. From here, you're going to drop your right shoulder down, 
Keep that right arm straight. Feel that right arm pressing into your leg. Nice stretch through that right shoulder, right side of the back. Good, come up through center, drop the left shoulder down. Let's do each side one more time. Up through center, drop the right. Good, back through center, drop the left. Good, come back up, stand up tall, and just step back, top of your mat, mountain pose. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Just step your left foot back behind you and let that back knee lower. Reach those arms up to the sky, thumbs point back, cactus out those arms. Go ahead, reach to the sky. Exhale, left hand to mat. Twist and reach, right arm up nice and tall. Good. Right hand comes down. Curl those toes. Lift that back knee. Pivot your back foot. Rise up. Warrior two. In your warrior two, take those arms in front. Right arm underneath the left. Bend those elbows. Eagle arms stay here. Or maybe wrap around the wrists. Take an inhale breath. Reach the elbows up towards your nose. Feel the shoulder blades spread across the back. Good. Release those arms, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. On your exhale, cartwheel those hands down and step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Back knee lowers. Inhale, reach to the sky. This time, palms together overhead. Hug those elbows like we did in our child's pose. Bend the arms, thumbs towards the back of your neck. Lift up through the heart, hug those elbows in. Good, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hand, right hand to mat. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Good, bring that left hand down, curl the back toes. Back knee lifts, pivot your back foot. Rise up, warrior two. From your warrior two, bring those arms in front. Left arm under the right. Bend those elbows. Maybe wrap the hands around the wrists. Keep bending into that front leg and try to lift those elbows towards your nose. Good. Release those arms, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. From your down dog, bring the knees down to your mat. Keeping those knees over your hips, walk your hands towards the front of your mat. Start to lower the chin down, puppy pose. Big stretch for the upper part of the back. Keep the hips in line with your knees. Keep those arms reaching in front. Slide forward, coming onto your belly. Arms are shoulder width apart, shoulders in line with your elbows. Top of the feet, press into your mat, lift your chest, and relax the shoulders down. Sphinx pose, tuck the chin slightly. Good, 
Good. Go ahead and lower the chest down. Straighten your right arm out towards the right. Left hand under the left shoulder and start to roll onto your right side. Going far is comfortable until you feel that stretch to the right side of your shoulder. Roll back onto your belly. Right hand under the right shoulder. Straighten out the left arm to the left. Push into that right hand. Start to roll over to the left. Far is comfortable. Return back onto your belly. Hands on your shoulders, push up tabletop, and just go ahead and come into a comfortable seat. You're gonna take your right arm, wrap it around the low back, and just hold on to the left bicep. Have your left palm facing up to the sky. Relax that right shoulder down and away from your right ear. Go ahead and tilt your left ear towards your left shoulder. You can either hold still or if it feels good, lower your chin down and then lift the chin up. Bring your head back to center. Switch sides, left arm wraps around the low back. Grabbing on to that right bicep, right palm just rests on your leg, pointing up to the sky. Relax the left shoulder down and back, and then drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Again, maybe just hold right here nice and still, or maybe drop the chin down, and then lift up. Good. Bring the head back to center. Clasp those hands behind you one more time. Shoulders back, heart forward. Look up. Take an inhale breath. On your exhale, just drop your chin down towards your chest. Keep that heart forward. Good. Release those arms. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands together at your heart. Thank you so much for working out and stretching with me today. Until next time, namaste.